Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back again with another video. And today I wanted to talk about something kind of briefly. About SJWs and business. So you see right here is Chase from Paw Patrol. Uh, he's a police dog. And Paw Patrol is just a bunch of emergency pups. It's, a, it's not political in any way, shape, or form. It is one of those few forms of media out there. That is apolitical. It's an agreement on, you know, working together. We all might be different, but united, we're strong enough to fuck. We're strong enough to fix any problem. I think it's like, um, what the uh, was the kid kid writer? No job is too too big. No pup is too small. Is the motto of the pup is the Paw Patrol, or at least his motto. And. The reason I bring this up is because right now I, I've seen stuff. They want to, SJWs, BLM, Antifa types, want to cancel Paw Patrol. If you go to Walmart, to the kids section, if you got a kid like I am, just go to Walmart and look at how much of the kids section is devoted to Paw Patrol. It is a big money-making venture for Nickelodeon. And right now they want to cancel... Paw Patrol, because Chase, as, as far as these retards are concerned, because like I've said before, SJWs, when they look at entertainment, they don't compute entertainment. They see entertainment and think propaganda. That's why you have these situations where they will go out and find the weirdest, tiniest little nuance and blow it up in this massive exposition about race and sexism and homophobia and all this nonsense. Uh, they do this because they view all entertainment as propaganda. Uh, to them, it is no different than a poster for war bonds or a poster for pro-Nazi stuff. And so the way they intend to change the world. This is this is what they do. They believe that the only way to change the world is for them to be in control of propaganda. So they go out and they... If they can't change the propaganda like they have with Marvel, they will destroy the propaganda. And we're seeing that right now with the whole Paw Patrol thing. They've already uh, canceled cops because of nonsense. They have... They're now demanding Chase or the Paw Patrol be removed because, oh, it's pro... And the, the idea is it's pro-police propaganda. The thing you've got to remember as an employer, as a business owner, because I, I will say this right now, I want to see if, if Nickelodeon bends a knee on this, there will be no need to boycott them because they will already lose millions of dollars. They're going to lose viewership regardless because they are... It's not a boycott in, oh, you know, we're going to change one little thing, that forcible cut. They will simply remove the show entirely, and they will just lose the entire Paw Patrol line. Millions, I, I guarantee you, Paw Patrol's pulling in a good chunk of money. I haven't been able to go to one person's house yet that does not have something Paw Patrol. Kids love little dogs. Unless they've been bit by a terrier, they love little dogs. And <clears throat> the thing here is, SJWs don't care. These Antifa, commie SJWs, they don't care about the money you'll lose because they're the regular business model for most people. Okay, let me let me go this route first and explain this. Your regular business model for a successful business is, unless you're running for office, politics second, profit first. With SJWs, it's politics first, profit third. Okay, it's making money is not a big deal. Uh, I did a video a couple of days ago about where I was showing off a, a comic about a dude who knew nothing about Batman, who had wrote it as an example of this is the type of person who gets hired at Marvel. Okay, at the end of it, he told Batman, "There's no ethical billionaires," meaning there are never. If you have, if you become a billionaire, you're no longer an ethical person, not by action. But by what you have obtained, if you tame, if you obtain large sums of money, your ability to have ethics, in their opinion, is gone. So SJWs, when people ask why don't they make successful businesses and, and you know they, they can't get success, 
because if SJWs rake in too much money, they believe they've lost their ethics. The entire premise is, I've told this to some people also, when people sit back and say, oh, you know, um, these are mostly atheist leftists. No, no, they're not atheists. An atheist is like Sargon of Akkad. You tell him that there's a God, he's going to say, well, I think you're wrong, turn around and walk away. It doesn't bother him. He's secure in his belief that God does not exist. With SJWs, they have this weird or quirky belief system that requires more faith than a Christian does. Okay? They have to believe that all your nonsense, everything about you is determined by either your genetics or they'll determine it by social standing. They believe in segregation. And these are things that well, when you have someone who is a religious zealot or a political zealot, you have a recipe for disaster when they're both. And that's the thing about SGWs. They are both religious fanatic and a political, uh, what was it? A, a political zealot at the same time. So it's destined for failure. It's not a matter of it, it might fail. It's a matter of it will fail. And this is why you have companies that just die when SJWs take advantage, take control of them. Take Marvel, take DC. When they get in positions of influence, the company starts to tank because they don't care. Um, there's a movie, to tell you how warped these people are, if you've ever seen the movie Kung Pao Into the Fist, and there's that one dude at the martial art place at the the main, the chosen one gets into a fight with. And he says, no, 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 do not fight him. Chosen one. We have taught him the wrong way to fight as a joke. He thinks winning is losing. That's the mentality you're dealing with. That's why these people are so nuts because they come in, they'll start fighting. You'll punch them in the face. and They go, ha ha. See, I've done something. Bam. You hit him again. The tooth flies out. And they're like, see, that's, that's been done. You put them in a chokehold. They're like, Yes, I've got you in my trap because in their minds, losing money, fans running off. When, when they see fans leaving, they're like, yes, yes, we're running out the Nazis. They see money dropping. Yes, yes, we're being politically, we're, we're making a stand. When they see firing start happening, they're like, yes, yes, we're, we're cutting the, the, the Nazi uh, fascists out of our company. This is is their mentality. When they see failure, they think it's success. They don't know how to succeed. They don't understand that money is the lifeblood of a business. To them, a loss of money is a good thing. That's why you never bend the knee to these lunatics, because they don't care if you lose money. To them, if you lose money as a company, that's a good thing. Okay? You lose your money, you lose your business. See, we have taken down another racist business, boys. Power fist in the air and, you know, run off towards communism and all that. But as I said, you don't need to listen to these people. And if uh, Nickelodeon listens, if Nick Jr. listens to them, uh, man, they're going to lose a lot of money because it's not going to have just an effect on Paw Patrol. It's going to ripple effect. It's going to be just like the video I did about, what was it? Uh, Stephen Amir, where he's Stephen Amir, where they have been, they gotten rid of Hartley Sawyer. They went after Danielle Panabaker, and they're going back after Stephen Amir. They're they CW bent the knee at Hay, Haley or Hartley. They're now now the SJWs have come in. They're like, okay, you bent the knee for him. We demand this person be destroyed. Now we demand the the star of Arrow be destroyed. They may go in there. I, I fully expect them to go in and demand the entire Arrow series be completely deleted because he was the main character. It's, it's, it's tainted as far as they're concerned. It must be burned. The, the Ministry of Truth must burn it now. Hey, folks. Like I said, just a short video. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Do you, do you really believe, do you believe what I say? Or can SJWs be negotiated with? I don't think they can. I think that uh, the very best thing to do is just take a mallet and just start swinging until there's nothing left to hit. Anyway, folks, tell me what you think in the comments. Also, if you like the video, be sure to like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell for notifications so you know when I'm putting out videos. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.